Hey guys, Patriot Contraptions here, and today we're looking at the engine of my Ford F-150. Now, we're looking at it because I need to know whether the mass airflow sensor is good or bad. In order to do this, I'm going to first test the mass airflow sensor by starting up the F-150, and while it's running, I'm going to disconnect it. The connector for this is located down behind the air filter, and it's kind of hard to reach, but you pull that out, you pull it apart, and if the engine stops, you know the airflow sensor is good. If the engine keeps running, then you know you've got a problem with it because the computer has already bypassed the sensor. So in my, this case, my engine kept running, so I know the mass airflow sensor is bad. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into the actual replacement of the mass airflow sensor. We need to first disconnect the negative battery cable just to make sure we don't short circuit anything and to reset the computer so that it doesn't show a fault anymore on the dashboard. Once we've done this, we can take apart the air filter by disconnecting its clamp, and then on the other side of it, there's going to be another hose clamp. We're going to need to take that off as well using our flathead screwdriver, and to disconnect the wire going to the mass airflow sensor again. Once the wire is out of the way, we can then pull the entire assembly out of the vehicle. And looking at the front of it, you'll notice that there are four little slits. Those slits are so you can insert a flathead screwdriver and pry the two sections apart. Now you want to do this carefully as there's still a wire inside that connects to your sensor. Once you've got the two sections slightly apart, you'll see the wire connector. And then what I found easiest to do was reach in there with a the flathead screwdriver and sort of poke the connector apart. And it pops apart quite easily in this case. So now we're able to pull the mass airflow sensor out, and you'll notice that it is attached by two bolts or screws in the case of the earlier models. So we take out the screws, and the mass airflow sensor pops right out. You're able to pop your new sensor on and put it back into the truck by reversing these steps. Of course, the last one being to attach your negative battery cable again. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please check out my other videos. I do tons of how-tos and fun builds like long bikes, juggernaut suits, and Lincoln Douglas debate tutorials. So, hoping you have a fantastic day. Take your subscriptions. I am.